In this video, we are going to learn about 3Ds and camera inside After Effects. While working with 3D in After Effects, we are going to be animating 2D layers in 3D space. So I'm going to show you how that works out real quick. But first, we are going to have to create a 3D layer. So what we are going to do is go to our layer and create a new text and we are going to call it 3D text. So I'm going to align that into the center. After creating our text layer, we're going to see three boxes there, right here, okay? In case you can't see them, just click toggle switches, stroke modes. And then the one on the right is for 3D. In this case, when I go into my transform properties, we have extra properties, which we didn't have before. We have X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, and orientation. And if you notice on all of them, EG position and the anchor point, they're having three value points originally it was 2d so it was having x and y but now since it's 3d it's having x y and z so with that after clicking that whatever layer you've selected will automatically be 3d so if i add extra characters like I'm going to just duplicate this text and move it somewhere else i'd give it a different name like like dead make it smaller i come again to my transform properties and then I can change the position. I'm going to change it. But while working with 3D, we have 3D views too. So if I come right here to the right corner with my composition panel and I select two views, it now gives us two, two different views, okay? On our left, we are having active camera default and on our right, it's basically default. So I need to change this to something else I use and normally it would be top view. If I change that to top view, it's going to show us we are having two different layers and I'm going to move out a bit. We see it now moved in the Z space, okay? Originally it was here when we created the layer, but now it's all the way at the back, okay? Now, this is the 3D space we are working in. We can also move it to the left and to the right. If I put this in a view, we can actually see you're going to see everything changing accordingly. After creating all your 3D elements, we animate them using cameras. Now, a camera works exactly like the cameras you've used before. So that's the same thing we are going to replicate in here in After Effects. So, to create a camera layer, I just come to Layer, New, and Camera. So, there are always presets and more. Now, we have 15mm all the way to 200mm. Now, when you're using a camera, the settings are the exact same settings you'd find in an actual camera if you've used the camera before. If you haven't, that's okay. You can play around with all these settings that you want to use. I normally go in for a 35 millimeter and that's what I'm going to use right now. Yeah, so with that, I'm going to be able to move through the texts that we've created like that, okay? So after that, I'm going to change this view from default to active camera. So it's going to change to use this camera as a viewpoint and we're going to zoom through the text like that, okay? Now, we can set a key frame for its original position, okay? Again, going to the camera, I can say position, and then in four seconds, using the same keyframes we talked about last time, we tell it we want it to have passed through all the text. So after doing that, that's what we are having if we play it back. That's what we are having. So if you have a couple of more layers, let's create a couple of more layers real quick. A bit, they can either be shapes or solids, depending on what you want. So we're going to create a couple of layers. Okay, so after creating more text, this is what we are having. Seems like we've had a lot of text happening and then we pass through them and it's like we're revealing more text that was there before. Basically, that's what a camera does. Those are the basics on how to create a 3D layer in After Effects. Now I'm going to move to a different pre-composition that was created a long time ago that shows the intro, Joshua Migade, that you've normally seen at the end of these tutorials. So go and switch to that and we see what happens. With this pre-composition, basically we are having, if you notice, it's the same exact thing. We are zooming into the name Joshua Migade and that's it, okay? So if we notice, we are having a couple of layers that we can see right there. 
first of all, we created uh, different layers. So this is the first layer. Okay, it says that and all this was designed in After Effects using shape elements, add text, and so on. Okay, so we are having like twenty-seven layers. N only the only that is animated right there, and it's all designed in After Effects. So having this, it's all two D. It's all two D. So if I go back to my composition, we had that layer in three D space. It's right there. We had the camera just come and pass through all of them. They're all randomly organized in the 3D space, and we're just having the camera pass through them. Okay? Now, something you may need to know about is depth of field, because if I move, if I make this bigger, you won't see that. The text is sharp, is in focus, but every other thing isn't. Okay? In order to achieve that, we go to our camera and we go to camera options and we make sure depth of field is turned on. Okay? And now when you play around with your aperture, it can either become blurry or less blurry. And it shows you the focal point. If I go to my camera here, this line you see right there is the focal point of the entire of the entire camera. Okay? That line is where it's everything will be in focus. So after doing that, this is all text. And as we showed you before, that layer is just layout. This is normal text, like right there layer one, and then all this is just drawn sketching layer putting to what you could see in After Effects just down here. And you come up with your own thing, and then we go and put it into our composition. After that, we organize them into random places in the 3D space, and have our camera just come and pass through them. It's as simple as that. So 3D is not really that hard. It's easy to achieve, and it's that simple. We can just have everything play out like that. That was something really simple, but we're going to show you something else with text. Okay? Now with text, you can have the text just like you see right here. It's a 2D text, but it's playing around in a 3D space. But what if you wanted to achieve 3D text in After Effects? That's simple. You don't really need Cinema 4D or Blender or any other plugin that people would normally use. Which is an example, one of the presets that we created, and this is what exactly it looks like. So this exact title here that you see, Red Flash, is actually from the After Effects template we created called Flashback. It's a retro titles template with many retro title presets in it. You can check it out on our website. So if I come back, it's a really heavy co composition, but you see the text is actually in 3D. How are we able to achieve that? Basically, we are having text right there. Okay, and we're going to talk about something a little bit. We're going to hint about it, but no, sometimes you don't really need it. And um, this is basically what we have. We have our text. I'm using a shy layer to hide all the layers that I don't really need. So just using that. And uh, this is basically our text. Okay, if I put this text somewhere else, it's just normal text. That's what the text looks like. And we are going to build it up in order to get a 3D kind of text. And then all the other texturing will just tell you how it happened. So this text is like that. We made sure it's a 3D text. When I go to my composition settings, I'll just come up here and change the composition settings. This should not confuse you, but just need to know about it. Make sure your 3D renderer is um is not classic 3D, but it's Cinema 4D. After changing it to Cinema 4D, that's it. You're done. Just need to press OK. OK? So basically, that's all you need to do. And uh, after that, our geometry settings, we changed our bezel depth and extrusion depth. So the reason you can't really see it right now is um. I'm going to add a layer and it's called a light layer. So this is what the light layer is going to do. Just watch your screen, that's exactly what it's going to do. Go to layer, new, and uh, light layer. After adding a spotlight, this is what we are having. Then change this view to a quarter. Okay, so you see that text was is now 3D like. So if I play around with these light settings and I increase the intensity, we now see that the text is having that 3D depth. 
How did we achieve that? Is we opened ge geometry options and made this high and extrusion depth. Okay. So just going to be to play around with these settings so that we can see all the text in 3D. And uh, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. So I'm going to add a different light layer, layer new light. So having that, we see that the text is now 3D like, okay. So if I rotate the text, like I rotate the Y position, we now see that it's actually roughly in 3D. So basically that's what we are having. So that's how you create the 3D text. Okay. Make sure your composition in your composition settings, sorry. And your composition settings, make sure the renderer is Cinema 4D and use a light source like the light layer we are using. So in a nutshell, that's how we created what we created. I'm now going to show you in depth how it worked out. So this is what the final thing actually looks like, something of this nature. Okay. And um, if I go to my text, we turn all these shy layers off. I'm using... The text is right there, okay? And I'm using a number of lights. I'm using an ambient light and sports light and, cam and the camera. Basically, the camera is where I was, it was giving me that kind of effect where it's flipping in like this. So we can't really preview that because it's a heavy, it's going to be heavy on the computer, I, all this. But that's what we are having. So that's how we're able to create that text that is 3D. If I show you, you want to know if it's 3D, you can see that it's having an, ex an extrusion happening on it right there. From there up to there. And then when it comes here, it's like no more text. So that's how we created it, having lights and cameras. Just uh, these are extra tips, these are bonus tips, but you may need to know about them for anyone who is advanced in After Effects watching this. Okay, I'm using something called an environmental layer that you can only work with 3D text. So if I turn that off, this text is not going to actually appear like the way it looks like. It's just going to be the flat thing you are having. So in my environmental layer, I'm having um, gradients, I'm having light strip on, on it, and it's giving out that extra light effect on the text. So. To create an environmental layer, just come to layer and turn that like, tick this environmental layer. So this is just bonus for anyone who's working out. If you're new to all this, you don't really need to do this heavy work. All you just needed to know was animating 2D layers in 3D space. Create your layer, make sure this right here is ticked, and that's it. You got now around with the settings like here in your transform around with a position x y and z that's it for this lesson and i'm going to see you in the next lesson